MLB The Show's coverage of Wednesday Night Baseball brings us to Comerica Park in downtown Detroit. Tonight, it's interleague baseball, the first of a two-game set between the Milwaukee Brewers and the central leading Detroit Tigers. And before we get too much further, here's a look at each manager's starting lineup here for the opener. Al Kaline will stand in, the eighth batter of the inning now with the bases loaded and two away. Offering. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground to second. Make a, turn, a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there. Friday Night Baseball on the show, and we come your way from the Motor City of Detroit, Michigan. Tonight, the opener of a three-game series between the Pittsburgh Pirates and the Detroit Line ball games. Al Kaline. And oh, he got the glove up in time as this ball drills him. Having set left fielder. Well, show motion's gonna give us another look at this ball coming back at him, man. Oh boy. Al Kaline will dig in. He singled his first time. Never going to be a strike. Off the plate, one ball, on, one strike. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Swing and a ground ball towards the hole. Oh, look at this. From a knee, he throws him out. A remarkable play there to retire the side. They call it the hot corner for a... Al Kaline stride in here to get the Tigers started in their half of the sixth. And they're going to have a leadoff base runner here as the fastball's lined in the left to base hit. So he continues to hit the ball well. His second hit of the ball game and he's aboard on the leadoff single. We take a look at the league leaders in hitting. And as you can see there, he currently leads the AL in that department. that big bat in the lineup. Al Kaline will try again. Two for four in the ball game. Oh, and this is hit high and deep out to left. At the wall, he leaps and makes a spectacular catch. And this is all athleticism out there in left field. Look at him measure that leap perfectly. Get up there and then pull that ball back in. Good look at the home of the Tigers, Comerica Park here in Detroit. Tonight, game two of this three-game series between the Pittsburgh Pirates and the Detroit. Al Kaline will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. Right fielder, Al Kaline. Here's the first offering. Out in front of a fastball as this is ripped down the left field line. That's going to be a fair ball. Oh, and he can't come up with it. Around second. He'll he try for third. Fly, try, fly. Relay. And the Tigers are in business to start the inning. They've got a leadoff triple. So he's in at third to kick off the inning as you take a look at the league leaders in triples. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. Al Kaline will get another crack. Now here's the pitch. Ah, not able to hold on there as he swings through a pitch in the dirt, and it doesn't look good for him now, down 0-2. Well, you don't expect What's a guy who's now? having a year. Oh, hang on now. This ball is crushed into left field, and this one ain't coming back. This ball is gone. A solo shot here to left, number 13 for him on the year, and the Tigers have taken a 4-1 lead. Starter back out there to maybe 
finish this one off himself. That gives him an extra bit of leeway here, and I have to get this one on to the ninth inning. Afternoon baseball for your viewing pleasure on a fine Sunday afternoon from Comerica Park in Detroit. One for the dads here as we get you set for this Father's Day matchup between the Pittsburgh Pirates and the central leading Detroit Tigers. Al Kaline will stride in now. Two hits for him, including a home run in last night's contest. Now the first pitch. Here's a fastball that's wrapped down to left center, and this is going to get down for a base hit. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. Cabrera rounds third and hits for home. And the run will score as the Tigers are off to a 1-0 lead. Well, we've seen a couple really good swings here early on. And that's a good one there as this ball's going to work the gap for two bases and give his guys the early 1-0 lead. Al Kaline will lead it off now in the home half of inning number two. Now the 0-1 is swung on and lifted out to straightaway center field. The catch is made out there by McCutcheon, and that's the first out. There. First opened in the millennium year of 2000. There's a look at Comerica Park here in Detroit. Tonight, the second of three to start the week between the Kansas City Royals and the Detroit Tigers. Ball game. Al Kaline will take his first cut to the ball. From the belt, the pitch. Oh, and he goes the other way, and he drives it out to deep right center field. Gone! A mistake on 0-2 gets punished, and it's a home run. So a three-run shot to right center field, number 14 on the season, as the Tigers have opened it up even further. It's now four to nothing. Boy, give these guys some credit. Coming into this game, swinging the bat, and they can jump all over this guy. Three-run home here makes it four nothing already here in the first. Al Kaline will get another shot to do some damage. He had the three. I'm not sure if that was a good take or whether he just got fooled on a changeup and couldn't pull the trigger. Al Kaline will try it again. He homered back in the first inning of this one. Al Kaline. First pitch coming. This is hit sharply to the left side. And that is going to be a base hit. He's working on a three for three ball game now. He's been automatic all night. Jumped through another big hit right now. He's been dominant all game long. And I think part of it is that he got himself a nice lead early on. And that's allowed him to not really worry about making a mistake. He's been free and easy the whole way through. Center field. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. And he will score on the sacrifice fly. Good job there to pick up an insurance run here on the sacrifice fly. The way their starters throw it, he may not even need it. But I bet he'll be grateful for that extra cushion. No offensively for this bunch, but out of everyone, I think we should single out this fellow right here as our top player of the game. Yeah, I think in the end, this really could have been anybody's award, but what the heck, let's go ahead and give it to this guy. He's as deserving as anybody. 
We're winding down here on the MLB pregame show as we count down to the final game of this three-game set. But before we take you to the action, the latest installment of the Topps Player Spotlight. Al Kaline in the glow. As he enters this one having carried his team offensively last time out, he drove in a bunch of runs and really looked dialed in with runners in scoring position. Yeah, that was one of those games you won't forget for some time to come. He was at the plate in some really important situations, and man, did he pull through. I'd say he kind of single-handedly changed the course of the game, and although that performance will be a tough one to match in this one, I know his manager and teammates are hoping he's got some more magic left in that bat. Okay, Eric, Steve, and I are ready for baseball, and we'll have it for you next on the show. Good look at the home of the Tigers, Comerica Park here in Detroit. Today, getaway day here in this three-game series between the Kansas City Royals and the Detroit Tigers. Al Kaline will stand in for the first, a two and two home. Swing and a ball line hard towards short. And that's in there, base hit. Around third and being waved on home. And the run will score as the Tigers are off to a 1-0 lead. It doesn't look like there's going to be much of a letdown for yesterday's ball. He may knock the ball all over the yard in that one, and they're off and running again with an early RBI single. Well, a pretty good offer. It's been a hundred years of baseball and counting at this place, and the charm hasn't faded a bit at venerable Wrigley Field in Chicago. Today, the opener of this three-game set between the central leading Detroit Tigers and the Chicago Cubs. Now, Al Kaline will dig in with a couple of guys in scoring position and a chance to take the lead here in the early going. Come on, guys. Here you go, guys. Let's go. Get a good pitch right here. Here we go. Here's the first offering. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. And get the pitch and drive it. Oh, they use all day. Hey, now we got two. Hey, all right, he waits. Now the pitch. Lined into left center. Dig hard. Dig hard. Go and two. Go two. going to get down for extra bases as this will drive relay, home two. Relay. And he is in to score as well. And they've taken the lead now. It's three to one. This is a guy you don't want to make a mistake to with runners on base because when you do, he normally does something like this. This is a bolt right here. Al Kaline will step in. He doubled home a couple this last time. Right fielder, Al Kaline. Get a good one. Hey, get ahead right here. Come on, Cub. First pitch coming. Fouled back. Four runs, eight hits, and no errors in the ball game for the Tigers. Plays the first here. From the belt, kicks and deals. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. Two-run shot to straightaway center. Home run number 15 for him thus far, and it's now 6-3. to three. Kind of a gift in location, and this is the wrong guy to be given gifts to. I mean, you see the location on show track, way too much of the plate there. You're not going to... Al Kaline will stand in in another dangerous spot here in the inning as this ball game is hanging on the precipice of getting out of hand. Yeah, he bounces this one sharply and through the hole into left field. It's a base hit. One run is scored, and the second run will score as well. You talk about a guy putting a team on his back. He drives home two more runs here, and that'll make this a six RBI day. It seems like the more. An entertaining game all in all, so if we have to choose one who stood out among all others, why 
why not go with this man right here? He's our top player of the game. And I think, all things considered, this was really a team victory. But out of everybody, I agree, he made the biggest impact out there. Wrigley Field. Both teams getting their final warm-ups in as we welcome you back to the MLB pregame show. First pitch of game two in our series is right around the corner, but before we turn that corner, here is our tops player spotlight. Al Haline is in that spotlight. Coming off a last game in which he was really outstanding in the clutch moments, collecting a whole bucket full of RBI, so he'll be looking to emulate that type of performance here again in this one. Yeah. And you said it, Matt, he was clutch. And you know, some guys just have that uncanny ability to come through when it really matters. In baseball, it's usually when there are runners in scoring position, and he found himself up in that situation a number of times. It was pretty special to watch him out there, so I'm excited to see what he does to back it up. All right, lineups and first pitch are coming up next. Stay tuned for that right here on the show. A good look there at the familiar ivy-covered walls of Wrigley Field on the north side of Chicago. Today, it's game two of a three-game weekend set between the Detroit Tigers and the Chicago Cubs. Al Kaline will get his first shot here, and you can see that. At Here's the first offering. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. And it's gone! He liked the first pitch he saw and deposits it over the wall. So a three-run blast to deep center here. Home run number 16 for him on the year. And the Tigers take a 3 to nothing lead. You just can't throw that pitch right there. That swing tells a story right there. I mean, he got all of that one. Remember... He homered in yesterday's ball game too, so he's riding a pretty good hot streak these past couple of days. With the Gateway Arch welcoming us in the background to look at Bush Stadium in St. Louis. Tonight it's the first of three to start the new week between the Detroit Tigers and the St. Louis Cardinals. Al Kaline will stand in with a run in. I think this has to be a fastball here. And he proves the fastball there. This is hit high and deep out to straightaway center field. A leaping try there by Jay, but you can forget about that one. It's a home run. So a two-run shot to left center, number 17 for him on the season. As the Tigers have opened it up even further, it's now four to nothing. Well, not much of a surprise here. This is what MVPs do. He's fortunate here that they decide to come after him. I, I don't know why, but that is a fun 